Hey, Matt here. So let's talk about what to do with Scrapebox after you pay for it. So you paid for it, you should have got an email. If you can't find the email with the download link, it's right here. It's scrapebox.com forward slash payment dash received. So let's load up that website and have a look. It looks like this. I have my download link here and the user's guide and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and download Scrapebox. And then it's going to ask me to save it. I'm going to go ahead and stick it right on my desktop. It'll download. And once it downloads, I'll have the scrapebox.zip file right here. So I'm going to dump that into a folder I made called Scrapebox. And it's already in there, so it's asking me to replace it. Now, on Windows 7, which is what I'm running here, this will give me a error if I try to extract it because there's an exe in there. Uh, it'll give me a standard security error. It does it with every single uh, file you get anywhere. Um, when your Windows is configured like that. So what I need to do, if, if that happens to you, you just need to go to Properties down here, right click, go to Properties, and go to Unblock right here. And then it will consider the file safe and you can extract it. There's nothing wrong or harmful with Scrapebox. It just happens with all EXEs on Windows. So extract all, and then let Windows extract it. And then once that's done, you're gonna have a new folder here. I'm just gonna delete the uh, zip file. When you go into it, this is what a standard folder looks like. So we now need to activate Scrapebox. And we can do that. We just double click on the Scrapebox icon here, and it will bring up something that looks like this. And this is a previously activated copy, so I'm getting an error message right here. But this is what you would normally see. Um, it all grayed out like this, and you can go ahead and hit activate and then it's going to ask you for information so you put in your full name um, this is however you want it to appear or however you have it set up with your your scrape box so I'm just going to put in, we'll just put in my name and uh, your PayPal email address and then whatever that would be you know So I just made something up. And then your transaction ID. That's your transaction ID from PayPal. It would be whatever it is. So that's what you would put in. And then you'd submit your activation details. Now, it's important as well that you don't go sticking this transaction ID all over the internet because this is kind of what links you in, one of the things that links you in to your actual license of Scrapebox. So if you need to uh, give your transaction ID to Scrapebox, uh, you should do it via the form on their website, um, not on a actual forum or somewhere else where everyone else can see it. So you hit submit activation and it will say, please verify the details and you click yes. And um, it'll say, it'll normally say it's submitted. I have my internet connection turned off at the moment for this video. Um, so that's why it's saying that it failed. And then it'll sit like this for a little while, and you have to give it some time for uh, the Scrapebox team to activate your license. Now, it, they say on their website it can take as much as 12 hours or less. Uh, I've, had act, um, I've had licenses activated in as little as a minute and a half. Uh, they just happen to be right there whenever I submitted it. Um, but it's probably going to take a little while, so be patient there. While you are um, waiting for your license to activate, it's probably a great time to go ahead and look a couple of things over. One thing being, uh, this is your main Scrapebox folder. Um, you have different folders here, like say I wanted to use the comment poster. I have template files in here. You can have a look at those, see how they're formatted, that sort of thing. I wouldn't use the template files, the files, they are just for an example only. You also can create multiple instances of Scrapebox. So I'm just going to drag this here, right click, drag, copy, and then now I have two. So what happens here is I'm just going to name this Scrapebox 2, for instance. And when I launch Scrapebox 1, I'll have Scrapebox running. And then when I go back here and launch the second one, I'll have a second instance of Scrapebox running. You can run an unlimited number of instances per a computer. You, if you want to install it on a separate machine, you would need a second license. Um, but to run them on the same machine, you can run an unlimited amount of them. So 
Here I've got two instances running, depending on your hardware setup and your internet connection, you might be able to run two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, that sort of thing. So, And that's how you do it. You set each one up in its own separate folder. So you can just keep copying these and make multiple copies of the actual folders, and each instance needs to be run from its own folder. And then, of course, you can go into Scrapebox and um, configure things and that sort of thing once you have it all up and running. Now, while you're waiting for your license to be activated, would be a great time to check out the user's guide, which is scrapebox.com forward slash usage dash guide, and go through everything, have a look at all the tutorials. There's lots of videos. If you came over from a forum, you can go back to the forum and read um, anything that has been posted there. Um, there's a lot of stuff about Scrapebox online, and as you go through here, you can see all kinds of tutorials, and then that's just generic. And then as you get into everything, there's a lot of information here as well. So that is the uh, basic um, setup of Scrapebox as far as getting it activated.